hey guys, Professor Phoenix back here today with a mini Q EX box, which gives us a kind of sneak peek at what Scarlet Violet is gonna be like. And I know I haven't uploaded in a while. It's been a pretty long time. Hopefully I'll be able to upload more regularly once Scarlet Violet comes out, because I have a lot of fun video ideas for that. But today, we're gonna be cracking open the Mimikyu EX box, um, which also comes with a Griever Holo card. So, I like what they've done here, where it really shows you actually what is inside um, of the box. And without further ado, let's crack this open. I really like just the design of this with like the Mimikyu's Shadow Claw coming down. Set that to the side. Really what we're after here is all of the these nice promo cards and packs, but the promo cards, even more so, just because we haven't seen them. I'll start it out with a Griever, really cute Pokemon. Uh, Underworld Stroll, interesting. Um, and Silver Borders, uh, I like the new holo pattern a lot. Uh, pretty cool, uh, holo card. I mean, I guess, I'll take it. And then the first EX card uh, ever, really. <laughs> I mean, I really do like the Sparkle, but another YouTuber I was watching pointed this out. Um, it is a little bit faded compared to other cards. Like, if you pull it up against, like, here, just a card from the back, like, this Whimsy Cot compared to the Mimikyu EX. I mean, it doesn't compare very well since it's a Rainbow GX, but it, it's not as vibrant as the older EXs or the Vs. Um, who knows what that's about? Maybe it's just because it's a ghost type. Maybe it's because it's a promo. We don't know, but... Um, it's a pretty cool card anyway. Set that to the side though. Um, all the extra plastic. Throw that in the back. Um, and then we get this huge jumbo card, which the sparkle shows up really well on the jumbo. Wow, it's really nice, um, on the jumbo card. But we have to set that to the side to get out our packs. Two Silver Tempest. Still would really like to pull the Serena Fullard out of that, or the Lugia, I, any of the Lugias. Uh, Fusion Strike, which I haven't opened in a while, and it was really, like, uh, like, discount, kind of, for a really long time, but it does have some really pretty nice cards inside, and then Brilliant Stars, which is, it's been such a long time since I opened Brilliant, like, actually full-on opened Brilliant Stars, and here's the code card for Mimikyu EX, um, anyway, we got four packs, um, and let's just crack into them. Uh, starting with Fusion Strike, and let's save Brilliant Stars for last, because I think that one is gonna go up in price, uh, pretty quickly here soon. Um, just because of it being one of the best sets from the Sword and Shield era, Code Cards actually turned around the other way, but I did see it, and I'm afraid it was a white border, which means in Fusion Strike, there is not really any hope. One of the reasons I think Trainer Gallery, or in the new uh, Scarlet Violet, AR, or whatever they're gonna call them, cards are gonna be, uh, I'm glad they're bringing them back. It makes it so much more fun. Eevee and Deluxe Ray, regular rare, at least that's a kind of nice reverse, I guess, I mean. Let's go with Alolan Vulpix next. I, strangely, I did not pull a single Alolan Vulpix, I don't think, out of this set. Like, I'm not even sure I pulled a V. I don't know, like, I kind of forgot it was in the set, and I really like Alolan Vulpix as a Pokemon, so maybe it'd be nice to pull one of those, um, today. Fire Energy, Glalie, Candice, Crocorock, Clitten, Petlil, Chinchow, Pharaoh Seed, Pikachu, um, we got a Candice Reverse, and an Arcanine Regular Rare. Really, all that I want from these packs is just to pull something V or better would be great. Um, full art or better would be awesome, and anything that below that, it, I mean, it's not like awful since these collection boxes aren't like very, very expensive, but like it's just not worth it to buy it then if you're only getting like a holo or something. I mean, it does come with the promos also, um, we can't forget those, but. Those are very cheap to, if you just want to buy those online. Um, Beldum, Baltoy, Sunkern, Fanfi. Ooh, we got a Smeargle character rare. That's not bad. And a Kling Clang. So nothing out of the main set yet, but we have got a couple nice reverses and a Smeargle character rare. Set that to the side. Um, but I think it's it's probably almost impossible to like 
consistently make your money back opening Pokemon cards. You have to- oh wow, this is sealed shut. Um, you have to, every once in a while, not get good luck. Um, code card going out. Let's hope we can get something out of Brilliant Stars. Cafe Master, Weavile, Dusclops, Sock, Corfish, Gallet, Chimeco, Chimichar, Alcremi Reverse, and a Magmortar Ray the Rare. Wow, uh, I have to say, that kind of sucks. Like, truthfully, I mean, I can show you the recap because there wasn't really a recap to show. Um, it was just the two promos we got and the Smeargle character rare, which isn't that bad. Like, Smeargle is not b that bad, but the character rare is di it should be a separate pull rate from the regular set. So to not get anything out of the regular set, not even a hollow, is really bad in four packs. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. A highlight of the video, probably this new Mimikyu EX. And stay tuned for the new Scarlet Violet stuff coming out March 31st. Um, hope you will join me in opening up those products. And as always, have a great day. Click the like button, uh, leave a like, hit the subscribe button, put on notifications, share it with a friend if you think there will be someone out there that would like it, and thank you for watching. I will see you next time.